Good morning, and welcome to morning prayer for Tuesday of the second week of Lent, March 15th, 2022. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Our first psalm is Psalm 43, entitled, Longing for the Temple. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy, my Redeemer. I will thank you on the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God. I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Almighty Father, source of everlasting light, send forth your truth into our hearts and pour over us the brightness of your light. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah entitled, Anguish of a Dying Man and Joy in His Restoration. Once I said, in the noontime of life, I must depart to the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn, like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. Our second psalm is Psalm 65, entitled, Solemn Thanksgiving. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you, we pay our vows. You who hear our prayer, to you, all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us, our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God, our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river and heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth 
you drench its furrows, you level it, soften it with showers, you bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness, abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows, the hills are girded with joy, the meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat, they shout for joy, yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, hope of all the earth, hear the humble prayer of your children as we sing your praises. Pour out your Spirit on us so that our lives may bear fruit abundantly. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Joel. Return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Blessed among us today is Mother Benedicta Reap the Benedictine founder. She was born in 1825 and died in 1862. Benedicta Reap spent eight years as a nun in the ancient Benedictine Abbey of St. Walberg in Bavaria. In 1852, she responded to an appeal from Abbot Boniface Wimmer of St. Vincent's Abbey in Latrobe, Pennsylvania for nuns to teach the children of German immigrants in this frontier settlement. Sister Benedicta exchanged the splendor of her 900-year-old monastery for a log cabin in the wilderness. She eagerly set about establishing the earliest Benedictine women's communities in America. Unfortunately, she quickly ran into complex conflict with the abbot, who believed the sisters were canonically under his jurisdiction. Benedicta appealed to her superior at St. Walberg and returned to Europe, hoping for an audience with the Pope. Rebuffed in these efforts, she returned to America only to find that she was no longer recognized by Rome as the superior and that all Benedictine sisters in the United States were now under the authority of the bishops in their respective dioceses. Happily, a Benedictine monastery in St. Cloud, Minnesota, an offshoot of her foundation, Welcome, Benedicta. With the blessing of Abbot Wimmer and the permission of Rome, she remained there until her death from tuberculosis on March 15, 1862. Four years later, the St. Cloud community moved to nearby St. Joseph, and by the mid-20th century, it had become the largest Benedictine community in the world. This is a quote from Mother Benedicta Reap. OSB. God has called us, and if we faithfully obey his call, strength and fortitude will surely be given to overcome all obstacles and to compensate for all that we have left for his sake. Our responsory, God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare from those who would trap me with lying words and from the hunter's snare. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Our Canticle of Zechariah. You have one teacher and he is in heaven. Christ your Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You have one teacher, and he is in heaven, Christ your Lord. The response to our intercessions this morning is, Just God, hear our prayer. God of love, you are the giver of all grace and peace. In hope we pray, just God, hear our prayer. Protect all places of worship and all who suffer persecution for their faith. In hope we pray, just God, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all who grieve the loss of loved ones. Just God, hear our prayer. Uphold and strengthen first responders, law enforcement personnel, and medical teams. Just God, hear our prayer. For the Ukrainian and Russian peoples, that there be peace in their land, and that we may have peace throughout the world. Just God, hear our prayer. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or who have passed away. Just God, hear our prayer. Let us now say the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray to his Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer amid our COVID-19 epidemic. Jesus Christ, you traveled through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. At your command, the sick were made well. Come to our aid now in the midst of the global spread of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health through quality medical care. Heal us from our fear, which prevents nations from working together and neighbors from helping one another. Heal us from our pride, which can make us claim invulnerability to a disease that knows no borders. Jesus Christ, healer of all, stay by our side in this time of uncertainty and sorrow. Be with those who have died from the virus. May they be at rest with you in your eternal peace. Be with the families of those who are sick or who have died as they worry and grieve. Defend them from illness and despair. May they know your peace. Be with the doctors, nurses, researchers, and all medical professionals who seek to heal and help those affected and who put themselves at risk in the process. May they know your protection and peace. Be with the leaders of all nations. Give them the foresight to act with charity and true concern for the well-being of the people they are meant to serve. Give them the wisdom to invest in, a long, in long-term solutions that will help prepare for or prevent future outbreaks. May they know your peace as they work together to achieve it on earth. Whether we are home or abroad, surrounded by many people, suffering from this illness or only a few, Jesus Christ, stay with us as we endure and mourn, persist and prepare. In place of our anxiety, give us your peace. Jesus Christ, heal us. Lord, watch over your church and guide it with your unfailing love. Protect us from what could harm us and lead us to what will save us. Help us always, for without you, we are bound to fail. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God show us mercy and love and grant us salvation through Jesus the Christ. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.